What's up? Welcome to the channel and in today's video we are going to be discussing open world games and yes, there are a lot of them. Okay, there are a lot. Uh, I got sick of re-downloading games to bring up the achievements. Uh, Just Cause 3 and 4, awesome open world games. You easily get those achievements, okay? Uh, there's one more that I can bring up for debate here. And the reason why I bring it up today in 2024 is Elden Ring. The reason why I bring up Elden Ring is because everybody who's been playing it since day one, including myself, uh, we're all maxed out. We're leveled up. We've got the best stuff in the game. So when you get to the boss fight and you need help, you, you throw down your call sign, boom, somebody comes in and smacks your boss and you've got the achievement. It is stupid simple for you to achieve all of those achievements today in today's game now a couple years ago no not at all it would have been hard you had to get past that dark souls experience so like oh my god dark souls is so hard elden ring is not a true dark souls experience the Dark Souls experience is probably over with at this point in time because they made Elden Ring, okay? They have turned it down in so many levels. It's not funny, but it's still a great game to play, okay? And to get those achievements at 100% is very easy today just because the amount of people who are maxed out and, and will just one-shot your boss, okay? Now let's move on to this list right here that I'm going to bring to you. Generation Zero is an open world game. Very easily achievable. I have played this game for 19 more days than I should have. Okay? Uh, and the reason for it is just because I like blowing stuff up and this game allows me to do that. Um, I actually have a playlist on Generation Zero that would improve your time playing this game even after you get the achievements, like the uh, world duplication glitch. Avalanche Studios here, they also make uh, Call of the Wild. It's a, it's a hunting game. Those achievements are easily doable too, folks. And that's open world deer hunting and bear hunting and every other hunting on the planet. Um, they allow you to, to duplicate your world. And what's, what that does is, is it keeps you playing their game. Because you're able to get more resources without spending 280 hours just farming for those resources. So you just duplicate your world and you get it right there instantly. Uh, I can kind of prove that. Uh, let's go right here to stats. There we go. I've got 20 days in the game played. And there's people out there with probably 280 days played. And they're nowhere near as close to, to these amount of kills. Okay. And that's a lot of XP, by the way. All right, so I have massed and prestiged myself quite a bit to get to where I'm at today. And uh, I really enjoy playing this game, all right? 16,000 missions completed, 33,000 locations unlocked. And a lot of this has just come from doing my, doing my playlist, okay? So I'll let you guys figure that out for yourselves. But I'm just telling you, easy achievements right here in Generation Zero, even without doing my uh duplication glitches right and a lot of people are like no i'm gonna play the game straight up hey do it however you want to do but there are people who probably work 8 12 hours a day they're not gonna sit here and be like dude i've really got to do that grind when you can just do a couple glitches bow you got it now you're having fun it's about having fun and what you consider fun may not be considered fun to somebody else number two and three we are going to break into the tom clancy's ghost recon and wildlands awesome open world games the difference here is this wildlands you have the drug cartel you have the unidad which is the government in that game and then you have you the player which is like the u.s government in their in their country trying to bring it all down so when you go do a mission you fight the cartel or you're going to fight unidad but they send in reinforcements all right, or if you kill the guy that stops from calling reinforcements, then you don't have no backup coming. But if you don't kill them and let reinforcements come, it's infinite. That means they'll just keep coming. And if you can get the cartel and Unidad to fight with you, everybody's going to fight each other. And that battle can last 
for as long as you want. I've done it for eight hours one time on the weekend. Let's just see how long. I collected all sorts of XP and kills. Why not? Love that game. The reason why I haven't completed this game at 100% is only because of the small, little, annoying achievements that say, oh, drive from here to here, level this zone up, do this, do that, like they would in the Far Cry series or the Sniper Elite series. Sometimes I just get sick of that grind. And I haven't completed that in years. I spend more time getting engaging in massive battles. That's what I really enjoy, that those big fist fights. Love it. Now, in, in Breakpoint, what will happen is when you go do a mission and reinforcements come, it will be like one vehicle with like four guys. That's it. And then I can just blow them up. That was it for the reinforcements. Nobody comes after that. It's always just one reinforcement. One vehicle, one helicopter, one of something, that is it. It is not challenging in any way. The achievements are easily doable. Um, I don't know if I brought this up in the beginning. You got Just Cause 3 and 4. Yeah, oh yeah, I did say that already, sorry. A little bit of dementia setting in. Get those games. Those games are easily doable. I just... Don't have the hard drive space. I, just, I, got, I got sick of deleting and, and, and reinstalling just to bring up the achievements. Without having to scroll through and find out where they are on my list. So anyways, everybody out there, please stay safe. Be blessed. Have a great day. And if I have helped you, bow, hit that follow button on here for me. Thank you.